Ugh, Jesus. I just love dealing with incompetent, clueless, fucking morons. Let's see, so, uh, it is, we are 30 minutes away from, uh, spring, are we 30 minutes away or did springtime begin 30 minutes ago here on this gloomy, cold winter day on the first day of spring in the shithole town of New Braunfels, Texas, where I had two and a half hours ago. So I've been needing to get some bugs in a jar business cards. I really wish I had had some fucking bugs in a jar business cards to be handing out to people at South by Southwest all last week. <coughs> Probably 30 fucking times if I had just had some goddamn business cards. I anyway, uh, so I'm killing time. So I say, okay, we're going to go to Office Depot and get some business cards. This is my challenge. Go to Office Depot get some business cards. I thought uh, that I was going to walk in there and they were going to give me like some little book of different templates and I would get out a big pen and write down what I wanted on my business card. Well, obviously the joke was on me. Uh, they sent me over. So I'm in New Braunfels in the fucking office depot in New Braunfels. And they send me over to this computer telling me to go on the computer and do and just write out my own business card and hit the print order and come pick up my business card. So I'm paying four dollars for a rush order so they would do it today. So, uh, it takes me about 30 fucking minutes, what would have taken me 30 fucking seconds if they had just given me a goddamn blank business card with some lines on it where I filled out. So anyway, I get the cheapest piece of shit business cards that you can get at Office Depot and pay the guys, you know, pay $4 extra, uh, so they will be ready in one hour. Well, this was, what, two and a half hours ago. So, I tell the kid that uh, I'm going to go to the Vietnamese restaurant next door, you know, in and, and, and New Braunfels, Texas, in this whole goddamn town, I guess this is a city now, I was thinking, man, I wonder if I can find a, uh, a, a fucking Vietnamese restaurant in this shithole town. Well, guess where the one and only Vietnamese restaurant in New Braunfels, Texas is? It's right next door to the Office Depot. So, uh, I say I cannot believe my luck. So, I go over to the one and only uh, Vietnamese restaurant and guess what? The fucking place is closed on Monday. And uh, so I say, uh, I have had a fucking donut since I woke up. So I say, fuck it. I need to go to the super hairy butts grocery store anyway. So I head off to Bucky's and the super hairy butts grocery store. I come back. It has now been over an hour and a half since this young man told me the one hour uh, was not going to uh, you know, come back in an hour. So it's been over an hour now. If I go back in there, and so this dude who, uh, who had helped me, the I mean, this guy was a fucking weirdo. All right. He clearly had no idea what planet he was inhabiting. So I walk up to him and he, and he just looks at me and says, I have not gotten to your business cards yet. And so I say to him, I thought you told me uh, the, that they were going to be ready a half hour ago, so I paid for this rush order. So his manager uh, looks over at us and said, Sir, I will have your business cards in five minutes. And I said, 
take 15 minutes. So I head back out to my truck and, and I sit here, you know, and make a couple of phone calls and emails and whatnot. So it's been 15 minutes. I come back in and the dude, the manager, so the, all right, what, how, what is the order of this? So I come in, that's right. So the manager's dealing with somebody. So the, the first guy I dealt with, he is, he is, there, there, there's a woman in front of me in line. So she steps up to the guy and he looks right at her and turns around and walks off. He leaves the entire FedEx place, that, which was inside the office depot, and just walks away and leaves the two of us standing there. So this is this, this normal looking woman, uh, like what the fuck is going on? So she turns around to me and kind of shrugs. And, and I said, you know, I said, this is the second time I've dealt with this young man uh, in, in the past two hours. I, I said, he is a weird bird. She, I said, I really don't know how to read this guy. And, and she looks at me and she goes, she goes, I know what you mean. She goes, I still see 85 year old grandmothers walking around without masks on. And then she goes, and then I go to the gym and there's these young people in the gym not wearing their masks. This woman was not wearing a mask. Uh, and she goes, and she just shakes her head. Uh, and she goes, I just learned to keep my mouth shut about it all. So that was her comment on that weirdo. So then the manager comes back and said, well, sir, I tried to call you. I, I had my Skype and my cell phone uh, uh, one foot from me. Neither one of them rang. He goes, sir, I tried to call you to tell you uh, I can find no uh, no order from you. I, 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 just, I see no order number. I see no evidence. And I said, what the fuck are you talking about? So he, he goes, we need to go on your email. So I go back out to the fucking parking lot. I bring in my computer. We start looking around my email to, uh, and, and it says uh, on the email, your order is ready for pickup. And the guy's like, what the fuck? He, he actually said, what the fuck, under his breath. That he, he goes, so he looks at me, and he, and he goes, well, somebody else has already done your order. And I said, "If well, if it wasn't you, and it wasn't this other dude, who the hell did my order? And, and he looks, I was figuring out, well, he finds out that my order was is ready for pickup, in San Marcos, Texas, about 15 miles away from the goddamn place that I that I made the order and paid for the goddamn thing. So my order's sitting there in San Marcos, and the and the guys he I, I know what he's getting ready to tell me is that I am supposed to get in my fucking car and take a 30 mile round trip to pick up these fucking business cards and, and, and I just cut him off I, I I said dude if you think you're getting ready to tell me I'm getting ready to get in my car and drive to fucking San Marcos because this dude over here didn't know what store he works for I said that very loudly and I and 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 I know the guy heard me uh, I, I said ain't gonna happen I said you you're the manager uh, you are going to figure out how to get me my fucking business cards and get me out of here an hour after you promised me these things I said you should give me a four dollar uh, four dollar refund back from my rush job and uh, he said, you will have your business cards in three minutes. That's what he told me. So uh, let's make sure. I haven't even opened them to look at them. All right. We have the uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm 
business cards. Whoa, there you go. A Bugs in a Jar Farm business cards. We are back in business at Bugs in a Jar Farm on May 25th. Come see me. But uh, do not go on Airbnb, obviously. Just email me. Email me. And, uh, email me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com would be better if you want to come to Bugs in a Jar Farm and uh, you don't want to pay those crooks at, uh, at Airbnb, just find me directly at uh, collapsechronicles at gmail.com. And we will figure out how you're going to come visit me this year. Anyway, my friend is in here doing some weird kind of energy work at the Green Dragon Acupuncture Clinic. I have to go find out where the hell my friend is. I am starving. Bye, guys.